You're looking right there at the sun. It will rise soon enough here. July is UV Safety Awareness Month, and right now a new study from the American Academy of Dermatology says that black men have the lowest melanoma survival rate. Yeah, not a statistic we want to hear. Joining us this morning from Moffitt Cancer Center is Dr. Vernon Sondak to discuss that study and ways to improve those survival chances. Thanks so much for getting up early with us. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Scary statistics, not what you want to hear for sure. What do we know about this study in terms of, of the rates, and is there a reason why? So there are multiple reasons. First of all, skin cancer is less common in, in darkly skinned uh, individuals, no matter what their race. Mm -hmm. But the disparity, the death rate for blacks of all uh, causes of skin cancer is much greater than almost any other kind of cancer. It's just that skin cancer is relatively rare, so it does not get the attention. And I think there are so many factors. It starts with the individual's awareness. I didn't know I could get skin cancer. Right, right. Um, it starts, it then goes to the doctor who says, you don't need to worry about that. I'm not gonna um, pay attention to this. And then the types of skin cancer they get, the melanomas in particular, mm. are more difficult to treat, more likely to recur, less, um, less well treated with our best treatments, and there's often less access to our best treatments less altogether. Access. Yes. And, and you talked about this offline there, doctor, um, and we call this a practice, right? And yes. you, you don't have as, many, uh, as much of a sample size when a lot of African Americans out there don't necessarily receive the treatment they need. So there's something in there for doctors to look out for, to know what they need to know. Absolutely. For example, the most common areas where we see melanoma in very darkly pigmented individuals is where they have the least pigmentation on their palms okay. and soles, under the nails. Uh, those are the most common areas. Yeah. We see those in everybody at a low level compared to other parts of the skin, but because we don't see as many um, regular, if you will, skin cancers, we see it concentrated in African Americans that it's on the hands and feet. So with not too much time left, I know the big question here is, of course, how do you protect yourself? So it starts with avoiding the sun when the UV index is highest and the rays are at their strongest in the middle of the day. I think the next thing is protective clothing. A uh, big hat, not just a baseball cap that leaves your ears and your neck exposed. And sunscreen, we think of that as the last resort to protect the parts that can't be kept out of the sun. No doubt. <clears throat> well, Dr. Sondak, I know you have to get out of here, but I want to get you out on this right here. You have the mole patrol. Can you, can you give us a 15 second uh, summation of that? Sure, every year, at Clearwater Beach, we go out and screen people, free skin cancer screenings. Whoever you are, in your bathing suit, come on by July 29th, that's a week from Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the Pier 60 Pavilion. Free, takes only a few minutes. We'll screen your skin and your head and neck for cancer. Perfect, right. thanks Doctor's so much. Life-saving screenings for sure. Thanks for joining us this morning, we appreciate it.